We heard you loud and clear. A coach that will care about you, has tremendous energy, and will help you get to the next level. Please join me in welcoming our next football coach, Coach Will Muschamp. So let's understand that every decision made in this program is going to be about you guys, and it's going to be about winning. You got the best academic facility in the country. You got great facilities. You play in one of the great venues in all of college football. You got an unbelievable indoor and a great practice facility. You're at the University of South Carolina. You're going to win a championship. It's going to be a lot of fun. So have a positive attitude every time you walk in the buildings. Everybody got me? Successful coach in the history of Gamecock football has resigned. Coach Steve Spurrier hanging up his Gamecock visor. I think I was probably the best coach for this job 11 years ago, but I'm not today. I'm not today. And that's the cycle of coaching. And it's time for me to sort of get out of the way and let somebody else have a go at it. It was almost like a death. Uh, because at that moment you knew it was it was over and I was shocked but we were eulogizing him for what he had done in his career you know I think he felt like it was the right thing to do like he does with his quarterbacks if you're not getting the job done the next guy's up and that's how he felt you'll have remnants of Steve Spurrier all over the SEC his philosophy will be copied so he left an indelible mark and I think that's what you want to do um, if you want to consider yourself legendary. Before I started meeting with potential coaches to become the football coach at the University of South Carolina, I met with our football team and Perry Orth was leading the conversation and the discussion, and one thing he said to me resonated in a big way. He said, we want a coach that has tremendous energy and will hold us accountable every single day. We wanted a hard-nosed guy who was going to work for us, work for the players day in and day out, give us everything that we needed. When I visited with Coach Muschamp on this particular evening prior to when he was announced, those traits jumped out at me quickly that we have a coach here that is very passionate, that understands the culture at the University of South Carolina. He loves his players, he's going to engage them, he's going to have tremendous energy and he's going to hold them accountable. Please join me in welcoming our 34th head football coach at the University of South Carolina, Coach Will Muschamp. Coach Spurrier has raised the level here, uh, and raised the expectation level here, and we're excited about meeting that challenge and that opportunity, and we embrace everything as far as the expectations of winning championships here in Columbia. Hey, listen, there, there's, there's a little bit of Nick Saban in, in this man. <laughs> there's no doubt. Uh, he, he's a serious coach. I think what you're going to see is, is, is a program under Will Muschamp that will, will com uh, the Gamecocks will compete. He's built defenses everywhere he's been. I was a part of the 03 National Championship team in Florida. They finished top 10 in defense every single year he was the head coach. And I think that's what South Carolina needed more than anything. A lot of folks don't like us, so this is a mistake. So if you had to look in the camera and say, Gamecock fan base, this is why, what would you say to them? I would say that, that we got our man, we got a Gamecock. Buckle up your seat belt, get on board, here we go. Talk about being able to recruit outstanding young men, high character, high caliber players to your program, but it also includes recruiting high caliber coaches, especially 
for a team as large as football is. I know when the bullets are flying and how they're going to respond and how they're going to react. Uh, but guys that I've been with before that philosophically believe the things that I believe as a football coach. Down, sit on. Down, sit on. There's a little pause. It's not down, sit on. Down, sit on. Here we go. Keep your feet in throwing position. Eyes, eyes, move your eyes and see. Get out. I'm really excited about Kurt Roper, offensive coordinator, and I feel like, you know, really fits what kind of has been done before with Coach Spurrier schematically, a lot of carryover. I'm still trying to decide if I like you or not. Still trying to decide. I'm still trying to decide. I ain't gotten there yet. You know? what you, what's, what's holding you back? I don't know. I got to see real football first. All you know right. what I mean? You get a little bit of that day. <laughs> here we go. Hands and eyes. Hands and eyes. Get away. Here. Here. Ball. Six feet. Drive it. There you go. The most important thing is the ball. It's the hopes and dreams of our team. Take care of the ball. Let's go. He reminds me of a professor, you know, it's not so much when he's on the field, he's our coach, but we're in the meeting room, he teaches it like a class. If you're not decisive, that's when ah, I think I'm going to read the will and then the ball gets banged off because your hands are loose or something like that. Be decisive, you know what I'm saying? Make great decisions. Have a plan before the ball is snapped. Okay. I mean, every single day he wants a pen and a notebook paper in front of you, taking notes on everything that he's saying and writing down. If all of a sudden he's getting wide and we've got great leverage, are you giving up six right here? Touchdowns are a good thing, right? They're still good? Okay. All right, I didn't know. I didn't know if they changed the sport. Touchdowns are good? Okay. Field goals better? No, no, no. I don't think there's any question that players take the personality of their coach. And uh, he is an upbeat guy. Uh, you know, he's a positive guy. Uh, he's going to correct you and he's going to be, you know, he's going to criticize the, the performance, not the performer. I want to be here, I want to bang him, and I want to sit in the half. Two yards outside the half, and I'm waiting on number three to come to the play. He builds your confidence level. Um, he teaches you everything you need to know, builds your confidence level for you to go out there and play with that chip on your shoulder. like really go after it. Go, get out there. Hi, hi. Get out, get out, get out. When I say go, it's boo boo, and now I'm exploding out. Well, I think his the first year we met was in 06. He had been cut by the Falcons and was coming back to Auburn to finish his undergrad. And um, I gave him the worst jobs in the building as far as, you know, helping me defensively. And, you know, my work habits are pretty late and really early. I knew from his work ethic and then from his being able to relate with people that he has not the type of qualities that you, you need to have to be a really good football coach. Here we go, here we go. Defense ready! Ball up! Defense ready! Ball up! Good, here we go. Let's lock in now. Really good job by you guys getting the football out. We're making a conscious effort to do it, all right, and it's showing up on tape every single day. All right, let's continue to do that. So let's make sure now, all right, we handling our business, make sure guys get into the ball, make sure guys handling their business and knowing what to do. Everything else is good. Great communication on what we got. Everybody got that? Here we go. Let's have a good day. Here we go. We have a sign in front of our locker room that says, prepared players seldom make bad decisions. Unprepared players often make bad decisions. It's a great crowd here at williams Bryce Stadium. Of course, they're all here for the spring game. Coach, let's focus on your quarterbacks during this first quarter. What do you think about their decision making? Well, I think they've made really good decisions. We've got a lot of wind out here. That's affected the throwing game a little bit, but had two really good drives down the field. We're very pleased with their performance so far. What about just installation at this level? Just a true freshman looking over to the sideline, seeing three different guys sending three different signals his way. And how much more work does he have to do before the year starts? They want to see how he can handle having plays sent in from the sideline, even though you do that every day in practice. Lobs one to the pylon here, and that's a terrific touch throw. True freshman to true freshman to Brian Edwards. And Edwards went right into the hedges. Really good drive. South Carolina fans and coaches will be excited about freshman McIlwain to freshman Edwards. They think they may see that throw and catch to those two for many years. Here's McIlwain on time, making the catch is Jamari Smith. Jamari Smith has had some kind of a career already here in South Carolina. And if I picked out a guy today I thought really stood out that we didn't know a lot about coming into today, Bob, I would say it was Jamari. You know, Coach, so many boxes that you wanted to check off in this game. What are some that you did? Well, again, put our quarterbacks under duress. We threw it a lot in the second half purposely. 
Uh, we had that plan going in, very pleased with how Michael Skarnack kept Brandon Michael Wayne played. Thought we threw and caught it extremely well. That's what we wanted to do defensively. I thought we tackled pretty well in the perimeter for the most part. We played much better perimeter run defense than we had be uh, previously in the spring. 113 days till you guys uh, meet again. I did hear you say that it's such a critical time for these guys because they can learn so much away from the coaches. How do you hope they use that time? Well, the player run practices are going to be critical. By NCAA rules, we can't be on the field with them. Uh, our guys got to take ownership in this football team and our quarterbacks and our defense and all. And we, we just got to do a great job advancing offensively, defensively, and special teams. Thanks, Coach. My dad, he immigrated to the United States from Iran and he wanted to build a life for himself and, and build a family and, and watch them grow and, and help them succeed through life and that's what he did. This is where I learned how to play football. On this rock road, on this cold set, this is where we learn how to play football. What are some of the challenges of the young football team when you have your first three SEC games on the road? But we need to be comfortable being uncomfortable. That's something we're going to have to grow used to, to, to dealing with with two road games with the young football team. Cops, hit! Right in, let's go, let's go, hurry up! Let's go, wakey, wakey, eggs and bacon! Lock in, lock in, Ray, break down! The drill sergeants, when we first got through, they call it the shark attack. They detonate the two bombs. And I'm sitting there thinking, what have we done? I mean, I'll be honest with you, I was thinking, I don't know what I've gotten ourselves into here. 